Hi and welcome to your brand new physical education webpage for A level. So this webpage is dedicated to supporting you and your studies of PE whilst you're doing your A levels. And if you use some of the advice and guidance and support materials on there, I've got no doubt that you'll be able to succeed uh, through your A level. So I'll just tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I've been teaching for 13 years. I uh, originally started at comprehensive schools and now I've worked in a college for the last five years, so specialising in A-level. So for that reason I've set up this webpage to help my students and hopefully you as well. So I'll just show you some of the features that are on this webpage that are slightly different from others that you may have seen and hopefully some new stuff that you'll find interesting and enjoy. So let's get started. So what we have at the top here are drop down boxes for each one of the different areas, so the social cultural studies, quantum movement skills, anatomy and physiology and each one of those is broken down into different sections so we'll just take a look at one of those. So here we've got the first section which is physical activity and as you can see at any point you can just um, navigate back to any of the other areas. We've got physical activity and within each one of the sections you've got the PowerPoint that's going to be used within the session and a booklet that you can download and use for your own particular notes. Other things that we have as well um, are assessment materials. So here you can give yourself a progress test to see how well you fared using those materials. And the idea is to do all of these prior to the lesson because one of the best questions to ever ask is one that you know the answer to. So by doing these materials before the session you should be able to go into the, the lesson feeling confident and comfortable about the materials that you're going to cover. Okay, so other things that we use as well on this web page are screencasts. Now some of you may have seen those before but if not principally they're small videos uh, as you can see they're about 10 minutes long and each one of them covers each one of the different sections uh, with a brief overview giving you an idea about what you need to cover for the lesson. So it's a nice easy way uh, of you being able to access the materials prior to the lesson. You can see down the bottom here as well that we have support notes and uh, what I've done for those is for each one of the different um, sections that you do there are these support notes that ask you pertinent questions and you can see we have the barcode there so all you need to do is scan that barcode and then it will send you directly to the screencast which is on there so you can access, access that on your phone or your laptop or your tablet whatever you choose. So there are just two other features that I want to show you and uh, we'll just move away into anatomy and physiology. There we go. And down here you can see that we've got extension materials there. But there's also um, challenge questions as well. So these ones are for people who are trying to really push towards that, that A grade and um, need some extra challenges beyond what you would normally do. So here would be your normal exam type questions but these ones are real extension questions. So you're trying to push us always to, to that higher standard. And there's just one last thing that I wanted to show you which is um, Study Blue. So once you click on Study Blue on the web page you can then access uh, these flip cards basically. So I've done these already uh, so we'll just have a quick look at some of them. So we've done some acquiring movement skills cards. And um, printably they can be used as flip cards or taken as a quiz. We'll just have a look at them as flip cards for now. So it will give you some kind of definition. You try and work out what it is. So we're using that thought process as opposed to passive learning, turning over, did I get it right or wrong? So we've self-governed. Next one. So characteristics of skill. Uh, what does that mean? Can we remember these things? And it's how to remember the characteristics of skill. And uh, as I'm going along, I'm just checking to see whether I got them right or wrong along the bottom there. Once I've finished, finish my studying, and then it'll give me my progress. So each time I return to this, it'll give me guidance on what I need to study or do I need to study again. So again, another tool that's going to help us enhance our understanding of the subject and also the basic principles as well as the terminology. Okay, and here we are back on the web page. So, just gravitate towards home. So, what that leaves me to say is good luck. I hope you enjoy the web page. 
If there are any issues or problems, you can contact me there at PE Contact, or you can send me a mail through there or via Facebook. Any of those ways is absolutely fine. And there's also a forum link that you can use on the last page if you just want to drop any comments in. All right, well, good luck with your studies, as I said, and hopefully I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.